Hello guys, it's Dale here with a new day trading analysis. Today I talk about the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. So that's what you see before you, 30 minute time frame. And what I want to talk about here is a newly formed resistance, which is in here at 0.6721. This resistance is based on two trading setups. One is volume profile setup, the other one is price action setup. So let's start with uh, the volume profile setup. Now, the volume profile setup, which I used here is called the trend setup. When there is a trend, you want to look into the trend. So you want to use a volume profile, ideally a flexible volume profile. It's a volume profile, which you can move around like this, look into specific areas, and you want to look into that trend area. And what you want to see is a significant volume zone like this one. Such volume zone is telling us that sellers who were pushing the price downwards were adding to their short positions massively in here. And it is telling us that this zone is important for those sellers. So for that reason, when the price makes it to the beginning of that zone, it is likely that the sellers will want to defend this zone and push the price downwards from there again. Right? This is a setup I've been using for many years. It's one of my favorite volume profile setups. And what I really like about this setup is when there is a combo of this setup and a price action setup, which I'm going to show you now. So if I extend this line, which I draw here, then you can see that this level worked as a very strong support in here because the price bounced off this level very strongly and aggressively in the past. So this means it was a strong support, right? Because the price bounced off that level. Now, the price breached that support in here, turning the support into a resistance. And that's the price action setup I was talking about. And as you can see, it is pointing us to the same level as we found using volume profile. And that's the favorite combo I like to use and that I like to trade. So when there's a pullback to this level at some point in the future, I can't really say if there is going to be a pullback or when the pullback is going to occur. But if that happens, then this is a strong level to go short from. All right. Now there is one thing to be careful about. It is a very strong macro news coming up in around um, 40 minutes from now. This macro news on the Swiss franc. It's the rate decision on the Swiss franc and also a press conference of the Swiss central bank. So you definitely don't want to trade uh, during that, because this could cause a very strong volatility of all the pairs that include the Swiss franc. So you want to be careful about that. But apart from that, the level I showed you is uh, good to trade. All right. So that's about that. That's about my take on the Canadian dollar Swiss franc. And if you guys are interested in learning more about the volume profile trading, and if you would like to trade alongside me every day, then check out my website. This is it. I hope that you are familiar with it. It is trader-dale.com. And if you click this button, it says browse courses, it will take you to my courses. There is the elite pack, which focuses on volume profile trading. And below that, there is an Oriflow pack, which focuses on day trading with Oriflow. So check the packs out. If you have any questions, there is a quick chat right here. So you are welcome to use that and have your questions answered in no time. All right. So that's about that. That's about the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.